Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented to you by the New Palace Lanes, North End Mazda Subaru, and Rebel Smoke. I'm Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Madela. And on last week's episode of the King of the Palace, Kevin Padrington defeated the number three seed, Dan Gauthier. This week he faces a new opponent in Sean Parker, the number two seed. Going to be a great match. Let's get to Dennis Nuzzo with the interviews, and then we'll get to the action. Welcome to the King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with today's competitors. To my left is Kevin Padgington, and to my right, the number two seed with a roll-off score of 453, Sean Parker. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. And welcome, Sean. Thanks. Both of you, no strangers to King of the Palace. Last week, uh, you defeated Dan Gauthier. You're starting to run the ladder. Any thoughts going into your match with Sean? Same thing. I've been bowling against Sean a long time. He's a great bowler. Just hope to capitalize when I need to. And Sean, your thoughts about bowling against Kevin? He's a great teammate. You learned a lot from him, and I hope it pays off here. All right, awesome. Well, I'll see one of you in the, back in the 11th box. Good luck to you both. Up first on Alley 3, newcomer, Sean Parker. Yeah, I mistakenly <laughs> uh, mistook him for his brother Stan that was on the King of the Palace before. Former King Stan. First ball delivery, found the head pin. Two, four, seven, with a piece of wood up in front of the two, and a little bit on the four. Three pins in succession like this in a row in Candlepin Poland, better known as the Queen's Lead. Drills that piece of wood. Oh, Ooh. the wood was what? A roadblock. Yeah, a hindrance. A hindrance. Sean Bowles out of um, Mason's Bowling and Recreation Center in Lomister, Mass. Um, he also bowls out of bogey and bowls out of the palace. Uh, he's a little disappointed with that. He thought he had the spare. I thought he had it. His highest average is a 110. His qualifying score was a 453. A lot of bowls this roll off. 26, was it? Yeah, 26 yeah. was uh, this roll off. And this is Sean's first roll off and first appearance on the show. Okay, he's left the four horsemen left. He's got some wood behind the, the two and the four. Don't think it'll be a factor. Sean Parker, a right to left bowler with a moderate, appears to be a moderate spin to the ball. Needed a head pin. Overcompensated a little bit there. Sean runs um, um, a Monday night league out of Mason's called uh, the Mayhem League. Um, I've had the opportunity to go visit it, and it's kind of cool. He does a lot of in innovative things. Um, John is a stickler for the game and a stickler for the rules. Um, and I can say that he's a pretty good friend of mine, so he'll come down on a Sunday, and him and I will just go throw and practice. Okay, Kevin Padrington. Kevin Padrington last week defeated Dan Shue Gothier. He's left the now facing. Sean Parker. He's left the four and the seven. I don't like this wood, Dennis. I don't like it. If you hit it really low, it should be able to go like that. Kevin Padgington qualifying score was a 423, which was the number four seed. So he's moving up the ladder. Oh, picks it up for a spare. Right on to nice up. Look like it went right to the cap. Comes out with a spare. Nothing wrong with opening up with a spare. Yeah, Almost. that was the cut. Uh, 422, 423 was the cut. <laughs> I happened to throw a 422 and missed it by one. De De Dennis, is that going to be your favorite three numbers now, 422? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh in the rack. That. Clean up oh, on alley he... four. Way Opens to fill up it. A strike on a spare. What a bombshell. You talk about That was going. just an acme bomb, oh. man. Well, he's no stranger to bowling against Sean. Uh, their opponents and teammates, so they know each other pretty well. Yeah, they are good friends. That was a nice ball. Oh, he's got it. He, oh, come he's on. the five pin with a couple of the jokers. Left just the five pin. I often wonder why the five pin is usually one of the only pins that usually stays. Goes back to angle of deflection. Everything goes around it. Everything goes around it. The force field. And wow. wow. What happened on that one? Two pieces of wood, right? Yep. You never know what's going to happen. I'd rather have no wood than two pieces of wood right. sometimes. Three, Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. All right, he's going up to lane four. Sean, Sean doesn't have a favorite shot. 
And he doesn't have a least favorite shot. He likes the challenges of all, every shot there is. He's a true student of the game. John's been bowling for uh, 40 plus years. His high single is uh, 173. And, and he's not too sure about his high triple. Well, he's left the four horsemen left along with the eight and the 10. Some favorable wood. Left four pins up here for the for a ten box. And got three out of the four, comes out of it one of nine, and after four he's got what Dennis? Thirty nine. Thirty nine, thank you. With his handicap. With his handicap. Okay. Yep, Sean's getting three pins to to Kevin Padrington. Kevin Padrington up on I should say Kevin is giving him three pins. Up on alley three. Lane Working three. on a strike. Box number three. Gonna fill the strike. Last week Kevin had a hard time starting off against Shu. Well, now he's just um He's left a five and the eight. I think as he's getting closer and closer, he's starting to taste the uh the crown a little bit. Wants to, wants to be sitting on the throne. Oh boy, come on, roll up right against it and makes it a little bit easier a shot. This may be a little more difficult call. No, he it up. All right. Look he at opens this. up with people from Bowling Land. He's opened up with three marks. No better way to open up, Dennis, I guess, than getting three strikes in a row or two strikes out of the three. Padgy, Padgy stuck oh, open the can. Wound up and he's, he's all over the head, head pin tonight. And he's left yeah, just he's a He's all in right now. Oh, was he found it. Look at the form, people. He could be Look working at the on delivery. His, his, uh, everything in sync, everything in uniform. He is just taking it to Sean right Let's now. Let's see if he gets the seven. Oh, wow. wow. He got Even he and said he, it himself. He thought he had that and one. And he's shaking his head. I think you know? everybody thought he had that one. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what. Out on the eagle. Don't count Sean out yet because he can throw some bombs. How did that one end? Once again, Dennis, you've said it, you preached it, double wood. Yeah. It killed Sean. Paco and Vipin it just killed Kevin Padgington on the on the seven. It's the uniqueness of Canop and yeah, well, What more can I say? I say it all the time. There it is, people. Let's see if Sean can have, has an answer for Kevin. Wide left. Oh, he got a break to the three pin fell on the eight pin. One three with a whole, a whole bunch of wood, wood on the deck. Oh, you gotta go right at the right at the Yeah, see it play it. Yeah, just you see it play it. Yeah, that would that was not even gonna be a factor anymore. No. Go right at it. This is a very important special. Oh. Wow. Oh, no. oh, what is going on with the bullets today? We're all getting robbed. I know, Sean. I, I hear you. He's a Dennis got robbed. Boy. That's why he's sitting behind the text. <laughs> oh. More than once. <laughs> what was that number again, Dennis? Four, I, 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 four, 422. 422. I, I threw a 422 and didn't qualify. I got nothing to hang my head on. You know? Yeah, keep staring, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin's looking at it saying, uh, Kevin, how did that seven uh, pin Kevin, not fall? Kevin I could have had it. Kevin just knows I am. He could have had He could have four in a row. I'm here and you're there. That's the way it's supposed That's it. it. One pin made the difference. Off to the right. Off to the right. Oh, we got a little bit of a lucky one. break. Oh, it did fall. This. Now the seven falls. He's left just a nine pin for a spear, but yeah, he's but no, got ugly wood. Yeah, he's got no clear path at it. Uh, I, I'd probably go far right on that flat wood. Yep. Try to spin it in. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice plow through it. Nice shot. Nice shot, Sean. He needed it. He got it. His first mark. Oh, Kevin, um, Kevin started on the House of Fire. Now he has an open box. So let's see what he can get back on it. And well, it opened up a three out of four boxes with marks. Three in a row. Thought he had the fourth. Is he on that head pin? He's and crushing it right he's now. He's crushing these Six left. and ten. That piece of wood should not be a factor. And well, I take that back. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's Guide it in. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. he's piece of wood got into his head. Hit, hit, yeah. That's something there. Just threw a wide left. Want to take this opportunity as Pad takes, picks up the ten. Uh, to thank our sponsors, North End Mass of Subaru and Lundberg Mass, and our new sponsor, Revel Smoke, with two convenient locations in Fitchburg and Lemonster. 
Um, go see the folks over there at um, North End Mazda, Marty Babineau and, and his great sales staff, and also go visit at Rebel Smoke. Say hi to Bill and Jen and tell them Dave sent you. Found he the, is all over this place found tonight, the head man. Pin again. Left the 610 the last time, leaves the 47 this time. Let's see if he can't pick this one up. He just squeaked by. I don't know, there, was, there wasn't enough room between those. Um, the Deadwood and the six pin. Uh, oh, he four found pin, it. He found it. <laughs> Nine bucks. Nine bucks. What do we got, Dennis? After six, Kevin Paddington at 87. Sean Parker at 59 working on a spin. Well, Dennis, your favorite three numbers are 422. Two. Mine is 1023. 1023. Very distinguishable number. The number of possibilities of spare leads and can open bowling. Okay, Sean Parker. Number's going to haunt me for the rest of my days. Thank you, Miss. Oh. Three, six, ten, four, and seven. We've seen a lot of newcomers have a lot of luck here. In um, you know, Sh Sean having that high qualifier of a 453, he's having a hard time trying to at least pull off um, one, one, a miracle one, one, here. Six, yeah. He's all over the place a little bit. Could be the cameras a little bit. Could be jitters. Just don't know. Dennis, where are you going to go on this? Are you going to play the two in the corner? Uh, for, for a 10, I'll just grab the two in the corner. Oh, went around it. 29. 29. 29. Very disappointing. want to mention the next King of the Palace will be November 29th, the last Saturday of the month. Um, we are taking off the month of December uh, for the holidays, so we wish everybody happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Hannah Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> Found the hit. Covered them all. Come that on, come on. Hit the three. That must knock be a postal thing. This is, gonna, this is coming up to be a busy season, huh? Oh, yeah. Brutal. Will you really want to go postal some days? It's bad. <laughs> Packages are just ridiculous. But, hey, pays our salary. You know, Sean Parker shooting through a good hit for the spear. Picks it up. Oh, he picked it up. Off, off the mark, but the Deadwood kind of hooked the it Deadwood in. Deadwood helped him. All looks the same on paper. It's a, it's a spare. It's not how hard, it's not, you know, it's how, that's how many. <laughs> yeah. As we notice here, people, Kevin Padgington, as all bowlers do, check your slide before you throw the ball, make sure you... Don't stick. Don't yeah, stick. that's the worst you feeling. You don't want to fall down and hurt yourself. Well, little sky oh, nice it, wrecking yeah. the rack. I don't think he's missed a head pin yet. Clean up on aisle three. Look, look at this ball. One, two, three, four out of eight boxes marks. Man, oh man, he has he's dialed it, it in. Talk about I'm going to tell you what, don't call this kid mediocre. Uh, Kevin's, Kevin's a great bowler. Four out of seven. Off the head pin a little bit. That's the first head pin shot he's missed. Well, he's still got another ball. Jinxed him, but he's got another ball. Two, two balls fill up the spare. Let's see what happens. Still working, hold on. He hits the head pin, hopefully comes out of this one an eight. Working on a strike fill. Let's see what happens. Left Ooh. the head pin again. One, four, seven in the ten with the pieces of wood lodged up against the four and the seven. Let's see if we can't pick up uh, at least a seven out of this one. Oh, Got the seven. Nine. Nice okay, out. Nice out. Leaves the nine. Leaves the ten pin. And after eight, it's Kevin Padgington at 112. Sean Parker at 82 working on a spear. Well, Kevin is just opening this thing up. Wide no, open. No, Sean Parker needless to say he's got to mark out here oh. and uh, put the pressure on the Kevin. Sean likes the challenge. Sean's down 30 pins, box to box, minus and his fill right very, now. Very, very important ball. Man, he he it. It with a he's hammer. wrecked the rack. Nice, nice delivery. Nice, nice crash throw. on alley three. Oh, would he like to have a double here, Dennis? I think Steve forgot to look at the list over there. <laughs> I think he threw it out. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Could be a double. Looks good. Come on, oh, the five pin was the last one standing with Nothing no wood. Oh. Him. oh, did that look good? Come on, Y'all want to give a shout out to the OEPD? The outstanding producer, director, the only one. He's Travis Falk. He answers to nobody. He controls the camera. Oh, oh just, just by a hair. Oh, he wanted that spear. Sean doesn't show too much emotion when he bowls. He always has that same look on, same demeanor. 
Got to be the most frustrating Kind of like a full cloth. It's well, all, he, when Sean's on the alley, when it's tournament time, it's all seriousness, man. Most frustrating thing in can up and bowling, guys. Sean just has to make some minor adjustments, and he'll be back on to um, ready to rock and roll. Missing a single pin spin. Very, very frustrating. Okay, Kevin Padrichin. Lane number three, box number nine. Don't finish with a strong 120. Found the head pin again, but look at this. Four, seven, ten with... Uh, now, why didn't the ten pin go down This might be a makeable shot. But why didn't the ten go down? He hit the pocket. Nothing I don't it. know, but why, why well, did you I just know. go from Shaggy to Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. wow. And he, he thought he, he got had a shot on at that the spear, one. And he didn't get He's left to 7 Yeah, he might want to have played it a little further to the left. The 7 10 of Caleb Pitt Bowling, better known as the railroad split. The most difficult of all spears to make. And Coming up on the 10th box right now, it's uh, this is all padding right now for Kevin. Kevin. Kevin's already up a pin going into the last box, so this is some more cushion coming into the second. You ever seen the 710 mate without wood? I have seen it. Oh, you have seen it. I've seen Mike Morgan make the 4 6 with no wood against me. <laughs> but I've never seen the 710. Well, we threw another pocket hit. He's just left the 10 pin. The pen, Piece of pin. wood rushing up against the Where 10. Where are you going with this got, one? He's got four pieces shot. of wood See, the way this wood's angled, I, I, I'd go for the left. You just spray and pray. That's all you can do. Wow, that goodness. wood came up and around. Up and left around. The it was just angled too far, to, you know, facing away from it. That was like a Jersey barrier right there. Dennis, is, is three pieces of wood worse than two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to start calling three uh, pieces not, of wood together, the Jersey barrier. Yeah, I'm not laughing at Kevin. I'm just thinking what, what we go through on the show, what we see. After one. After one, yeah. we got... Kevin Padgington at 131. Sean Parker at 120. Open pin lead for Kevin Padgington, trying to continue on his climb up to face... Next week's challenge for the King of the Palace. Let's see what happens. And I now he's shaking his head. I know, Kevin. Padgy up on won. Alley 3. How did he get, get robbed ready to start the second out. match? How did that happen? We'll be crowning a new king next week. Wide oh. right. He's left the 1, the 7, the 9. He's got wood. I don't think it's going to. Well, who knows? And if, he just, and if you're just tuning in, Kevin Paddington defeated Phil Clough. Who uh, opted to take the king's option? That's twice we've seen somebody take the king op yes. king's option, and at both times they have both um, not retained their titles. Tony Iannuzzi, the the uh, king from season, returning king from season two, took the challenge and qualified number one and lost his bid. Phil Clough, returning king of the palace champion, took the ch took the option. Could not better his spot, so he qualified in fifth, and he didn't advance either. So just made it a little bit well, harder for another, the bowlers. It's another one of the uh, new ideas that the show's come up with. And uh, Thanks to the viewer comments on yeah, Facebook, that's, YouTube. That's right. It all comes from the viewers. Bad on the head pin again. Bowler interviews, no, King's option. Split with lots uh, of wood. Kevin's looking up at the bowling guards. What have I got to do to get a spare leave here? He's left the 4, 7, 10. Now he comes back and leaves the 7, 10. Once again, the real I may turn split. around and shoot this wood on the seven. Oh, my goodness. Trying to get some sidewall action. Nice. All right, this one. You, you called it. No, you called actually, it. I didn't. I called oh. it the other way. Oh, I thought you called it that one. My error. Okay. <clears throat> Opens up with a nine in the sphere. Nothing wrong with that. Sean Parker getting ready here on lane number three, box number one, string number two. Behind by 11, facing an opening box of nine by Kevin Patrick. And if you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, just contact your local public access television station. Have them contact us here. It doesn't cost you anything, and we'll get it on there for you. Well, he opened up wide left. He's left the 1, 3, 7, 10. He's got some, hopefully the wood takes out the 10, maybe the ricochet or the hit pin if he makes contact. If he splits this, it should seven. take it. Yep. yep. High low jack with a joker. Just missed. He knew it. I want to thank everybody, um, all the audience, you know, watching on your local Access TV channel or on YouTube. Getting thank you for your comments. Sure. They're, they're coming whether through. They're, whether they're good or bad, we read them. Um, we encourage it. Um, thank you for liking the show. We, can, we hope you continue watching. And 
since it is season three and many people didn't think that we'd get past season one. one. We're really fortunate, um, we're really I happy. Hope, I hope that um, we get to see more um, bowlers turning out, coming down and, and giving us a shot. Oh, they keep, come on, Ten Pin, why don't you fall down for the bowler? He's got four pieces of wood again. Kevin had, what, it's three the same, or four? Same exact lead, pretty much. Basically, what do you do? It's, not, it's not angled as bad, but yeah. I'd still, I'd go to the far left of it and try to spray something in, but yep, you little never Jersey know what's going to happen. In it. That's why I got to talk to Travis. Oh, no, he went wide right, and he missed. No, he got Jersey buried. That's a new term. I got to write that down. David, may I quote you on that in the future? What's that? Jersey buried. Yep. Buried. Very good terminology. I enjoy that. Anything to promote candle pin bowling, I'll put it in the back of my mind. We have a piece of wood up in the left channel. Then the bowler has Actually, we got one in the left and the right. Yep. No, the front one he wants. Oh, both of them. Oh, I didn't see it. Thank you, Dennis. And bowler's uh, discretion. If he wants it removed by the rules of candle pin bowling, it's removed. Clipped it. Got it. Yeah. Nice shot. After two, we got Kevin Patterson at 19 working on the spare. Sean Parker at 21. Yeah, Kevin liked to fill this spear with a big fill, obviously, an 8, 9, or a 10. The wonderful world of candle pin bowling, guys. I love it. I live yeah. it. I breathe it. Yeah. And there's our... Glad you're working on a spare. Yeah. So have to pull on the head. head pin again. Head pin again, he's left, look at this. Three, look. six, ten, and the seven with a piece of wood in oh. between the three and the six. Hits the head and, in the um, pocket I'm and leaves where the this. the five pin would be. And, and leaves this mess. Probably right here inside of this yeah. three yeah. pin. You gotta it's not as bad as it looks. Gonna throw the three over to the seven. There it is. And wow. look at this. Wow. I think that one piece of wood in the middle kind of. Stopped it, yeah. Yeah. Thought he had it. He's left just the seven pin from the yep. ten box. And he's got a piece of wood down there. This is he's gonna shoot way right. Yeah. Leaves it for a nine. Leaves it for a nine. So because So because of other viewer comments, uh, the show has been able to grow, get better, changes have been made, and it's been positive. Yeah, we've been doing um, a lot of changes based on your comments. Um, the show is evolving. It goes to show, Dave, David Dennis, we read them. Love the viewing audience to comment to us. And we'll do what they ask us to do. Well, well within reason. Almost. <laughs> within reason, yes. Who was, the, who was the one who wanted cheerleaders again? Uh, probably like half the field. Oh, that oh, was, that, no, that, that was Stan. Stan. Stan, Stan, Stan wanted cheerleaders. Right. Um, and did somebody second it? Mike Shue. Nice oh, nice tag. Oh, nice very difficult to Dan, Dan Gothier wanted uh, uh, more selfies of himself. <laughs> uh, oh, they, they, whatever. Dennis wanted to throw higher than a 422. Oh, that's going to haunt know. me. Hey, like I said, I throw a 422, I can't complain. And I'm convinced it's 1,023 spare leaves in Candlepin and Bowl. Um, I'm, I'm convinced I'm a legend in my own mind. Oh, we know oh, that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's sure. a, and of course, what do we have as a constant that will never change? The outstanding producer, director, who? Travis Falk. The OEPD. Of the, of the New Palace Bowling Tournament. Now <laughs> look at wow. this. People. He can't even Stay, believe that the seven pin stood. That the, the seven pin stays up, but the ten pin goes down, and it was 44 inches across the alley. Travis, we got to do it. We got to get a physicist up here to explain all this to him. Round table, this guy. No, he's smiling again. I'll pay the pizza. I don't care. Fitch yeah, pizza. Here we go again. I'll, I'll have some. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you saw that shot. The ten pin went down. The seven stood up, and he made contact with the pin in front. The four pin in front of the seven. Nice ball. Oh, look nice. At there Wrecking it is. The rack. Wreck the rack. There it is. Nice ball. We got a hammer. He needed that, that's for sure. Yep. Nice ball. Sean made a minor adjustment and um, made a beautiful yeah. crash down there. Appeared to let up just a little bit on the speed on that one and found the pocket and they all went down. Yep. After four, we have Kevin Padgett at 44, Sean Parker at 40 working on the strike.
Kevin Zero in on the head pin or, or wide right. Uh, he got lucky for the got ocean. Luck and he's left the one, the two, the four. Better known in Candlepin Bull and has the Queens lead. Three pins in succession. Got to try to split them there, Dennis, David? Yeah, I'm, all, I'm a fan of splitting them. Split them instead of Run the dog. ladder. Oh, oh, he split them. But of course, him. that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> what happened. He split them and the four oh, pin okay. stayed. First poor Sean Parker has a 4, 7, 10, and the 10 goes down the set. And then, Stan and then Parker, then not Sean. Stan, excuse me. No, Sean Parker. Sean Parker. Yeah, Sean Parker, that's what I said. Not Stan. I thought I said Stan. Okay, I get the brothers mixed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It happens. It happens. Right? It's all right. I know. I'm no. I know you're infallible, Dave. But we all know. Oh, that. right. I screw up five times before breakfast. <laughs> nice ball, nice Kevin. Nice ball, and he's left the ten pin. A solid ten, and they call this ten pin bowling a solid ten. Why it's oh, a weak ten, ten, but it's not, not ten, ten pin. pin. I don't even want to. This is. I don't even want to get into it. I agree. You know what? This might not even be classified as the 1,023 spinkable spare. Nice, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Difficult spare. He made it. Okay, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Yep. All the people out there in bowling. Kevin's land. still got a pretty decent lead on Sean. Box to box, he's up 15. This is the big one. He's on the strike. Well, once again, a little extra time. Throwing in. There's a lot going on here. Found the head pick. Good. Fall down seven. Good. Okay. And look Leaves at this. 6 10. Look at this. What a wood. bunch of junk. Yeah, this is <laughs> junk. I would cap that piece of wood that's. Touching uh, the six pin and hey, be careful. Take them hey, be careful seeing cap. Why? I don't have a flak jacket on. Never mind. Yeah, you got me on that one. Yeah, you got me too. You got <laughs> me up the You're gonna have to talk to me on that one. I'll fill you in later. <laughs> okay. Cap on the flak jacket. I have no idea. It's a legend in his own mind. Stuff. I know. I know he's a legend. Everybody knows <laughs> David Matala is a legend. I mean, I'm not <laughs> disputing that. Uh, something if you don't understand something. I can meet my up. own demise by my own hands. Oh, three. Seconds. Found the hit and look at this. He's a diamond. He's First a diamond dime. that we've seen today. Yeah. Two, four, five, and eight. Oh, he wants to make this is very, very difficult. Very, very difficult shot. Just got to plow into that two pit, see what happens. Oh, he did it, people. Diamond Excellent. cutter. A diamond cutter. Three spears in a row. DDP, Dallas Diamond, Dallas Page out of the old WWF, and he made it. Sweet spears in a row. He's got the turkey. And that and he's actually got the put momentum. him in the lead by one pin. Oh, over this is coming down to the nitty. He made all the pins back up from what yeah. he needed to. After he was what? He was down by 15 after three. Now he's even. Just yeah. about. Kevin fills with a wow. nine. Oh, and he's put Leaves the pressure the nine. back. Leaves the nine up with a piece of wood rolling up against the nine. No, oh, I don't know. Is it frozen against it, David? A piece of frozen wood against the pin right in the front like this is better known to Candlepin Bowling as bond wood. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Mix it up. The bond wood helped him that time. Or a plank. I think most a people plank. call it a bunny. A bunny? Okay. Oh, well, I'll put that down on my notes. Never heard of that one, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Dennis, we don't need to give him any more I'm ammunition. trying to get all this old vernacular out and some new ones in. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. No, but then, why would you say that? I, you know I record everything. I like anything new in bowling. Working you know how much spare. I enjoy it. Yeah, change the subject. Uh, no, he, he almost left the new palace. Yeah. He knew he soon as he left his hand. They yeah, usually do. You can yep. tell when it's off. Well, it's got to come out of this with at least a 9 or a 10. Or a spare. Nice pitch. Okay. Wow, look at that. These pick are 6 10. Up, pick up these two, uh, excuse me, Kev, with a 10 box. Uh, Kevin's struggling a little yeah. bit. So that's two blocks. Oh, he's a nine. This nope. may be the opportunity for Sean to nope. kick down the door. Well, nope. Sean Parker. Here he goes. Three in a row. Working on, Let's a, see what working happens. on a mark. 76 and a he ball. He smelled it. Had three opens. Been followed with three marks, guys. People out there viewing land. Here you it never, is. You never count out Sean Parker, that's you for sure. never know. Oh, oh, oh. threw that one away. You could hear him as soon as you lift that ball up his hand. How does it happen? Why does it happen? Overconfidence. Want to want to making a, a big splash on the fill, and that happens. Just lose a little bit of concentration. Drop the ball a little bit too early. Minor adjustment. Wow. No eagle for Sean Parker. Four three, five, seven, ten. For the ten blocks. Four Split them and hope for three. Yeah. Yep. One of the Eagle didn't get it. The Eagle came up in bowling, four marks in a row, did not deliver. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's got, one way of doing he it. He got two out of them. Okay. I think he's happy with that. Okay. Three to go. He's down by 12. And he's facing a, what, Dennis, a nine box? Nine box, yes. the head pin. Come on. Foul down the two pin. He's left the two and the seven. The candle pin bowling, better known as the baby split, but I don't like the front wood. No, that would just hurt no, him a little I bit. I don't like it. It's no, going it to might be covering. Uh, I don't think so. It's going to ricochet. Well, I think the, I think the, I think it's hitting the two pin a little bit, but... I played wow, a little. there wasn't much room behind that. How did that happen? He put wow. the ball between the end of the cap of the wood and the other one never made contact with anything. I probably played a little below the red line. See what happens. Yeah. No, he went above it. Oh, there you go. And he went above <laughs> it and he made the 10. This goes to show you what happens. It's always the third ball. ball. And after eight, Kevin Paginton at 95, Sean Parker at 95. Kevin still holding that 11 pin lead from the first string. Coming right down to the wire. Last two boxes. Mark, either way, can swing it. People out there viewing the land, with, along with yours truly and my partners, David and Dennis, we all like close matches. Every see pin counts. Happens. Let's see what happens. Found the head pin wow. and look, and he's left what? The four, six, seven, ten candle pin bowling. The double, double pinochle. There it is. He made this early his first match against Phil Clough. Yes. A couple weeks ago was the last. But now he's got some favorable wood too. So. He probably had some insure. Now where are you going with this last one? Time. Lower left in the front wood. I play it like red line. The double pinochle. Just like oh, that. Wow. wow. He wanted it. He thought he had it. The seven pin stays up. The double pinochle is the victor. That important pin. David, you've always said it, and Dennis agrees, and I agree. Pinning, very, very important. Especially right now when That's it's right. this tight of a match. Sean, if Kevin doesn't mark, Sean's going to have to mark. Yep. So if he missed that one, then Sean could inch up, obviously, a little bit closer with his final two blocks. Okay, look, this is it. He gets a mark here at forces Sean to get two blocks. Wide right. He's the well, he's got a lot of favorable wood down there. Right. Everything's all locked in nice and tight. One, two, four with two pieces of wood locking them all in. Yeah, this might be a little more a little more time here for Kevin. He knows it's important. Another Could be a Queens helper or a hinder. Another Queens lead for the spare. Picks it up for the oh, spare. Yeah, he wanted it. He got it. Very, very important fill here. Yeah. 21, 31. This forces Sean to at least. Well, if he gets if he gets to a throw strike, a mark. if he gets a strike, it forces Sean Parker to get a double strike to win. That put him up by 41. So anything less than that, Sean Parker could win a tie with two spares. Oh, I was striking the spare. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Five. Yeah, get away from him. Five on the spare. He ends up with a 120. Oh, comes right down to this. Sean's first appearance on the King of the Palace. Let's see if he can't turn around and make some noise. He needs 36 oh. pins to tie and 37 pins to win. It's and not impossible. But that all starts with this ball right here. Needs a, at least one mark out of this or a double strike. Let's see what happens. The ninth box, the foundation. Oh. Leave that Wide one away. Hump. Leaves the camel hump. Leave the camel hump. Just oh. want to remind everyone that we have the new view of participation. We're giving back to the viewers with the question of the day. Enter that for your chance to win a uh, drawing for a King of the Palace t-shirt. And then the viewers challenge. You email us with the total pinfall that you think the match was won by. And within three pins either way, you, if you get it right, you win the prize that day. Plus you're entered into the grand drawing at the end of the season for an hour free bowling lesson or bowl three strings against any one of us. Check out New Palace Lanes for more details. Picks up the 10. Yeah. He still needs a double strike. Oh, comes right down to this yeah. right now. Needs a double strike, right? Needs uh, double strike seven. Yeah, needs a double. Double strike six to tie, double strike seven to one. Talk about being under the, under the lights, under yeah. the pressure. <laughs> yeah, this is a Can't pressure. open bone, you're lucky to get one strike, guys. I don't know, two. Oh, it's good the ball. Uh, That's it. That's it. it. Kevin, Kevin Padgett, Padgett moves on. Kevin we'll Padgett move on. next week for the King of the Palace Championship. Yeah, he will face the number one seed in Ooh. Paul Markey. That's right. Now another newcomer, David. Dennis? Yes. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Looking forward to that match. That's going to be a great match. Blew out all the qualifiers with, what, a 459, I believe? 456. 456. 
Uh, he's on his way to be uh, one step away from retaining the title because he is a past King of the Palace champion. Yep. Been, Kudos yeah. to Sean Parker for uh, competing in the King of the Palace. Well. Happy he's here. Glad to have him. Look forward good. to seeing him again in the near future. Do some good scores. Yeah. Uh, what, he, what I think. Great really bowler. Hurt him. Great attitude. Good friend. I really heard him that one fill on that spear. Last what string, Kevin Padgerton threw a 120. Sean Parker with a 115. Two string total. Kevin Padgerton 251. Sean Parker 235. Kevin had six spares and two strikes, and Sean had four spares and two strikes. Now let's get to the 11th box Mark, with Dennis Nuzzo. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's winner, Kevin Padgerton. Great ball, and Kevin, you won the match by 16 pins. It was looking a little shaky, but then you pulled it off. How do you feel about your match? I felt good throwing the ball. I saw a great first ball. Missed some shots, but in the end, I made one I need to. Awesome. Well, you got one more match, and then that's for the crown. Next week, you're facing Paul Markey with a roll-off score of 456, so good luck.